amyloidosis. It's a rare condition that used to almost always be fatal. It first made headlines here in Pittsburgh in 1988 when Mayor Richard Caligiuri was diagnosed with it and ultimately died from it. Two years later, it also killed the longtime mayor of Erie. And in 1993, Pennsylvania Governor Bob Casey had to have an extremely rare heart liver transplant when he was diagnosed with it. Now, all these years later, doctors are finally making progress in treating it. Health editor Dr. Maria Simbra explains how more people are now surviving it. I had so many symptoms and I really didn't think they all connected. Pam Rafferty had a thick tongue, leg swelling, frothy urine, carpal tunnel syndrome, and then... I started having heart palpitations. She had atrial fibrillation, an abnormal heart rhythm. But her cardiologist noticed something else was abnormal, the rapidly increasing muscle thickness in her heart, a sign of a condition called amyloidosis. It's rare, only 10 cases for every million people. Their hearts become thickened over time, which leads to stiffening of the heart and heart failure. A heart biopsy confirmed the diagnosis. I didn't realize how serious it was, though. I knew Mayor Caligiuri had passed from it. It really frightened me. I, I, you know, I honestly thought that I only had a few months to live. Certain blood cells, called plasma cells, make the abnormal proteins that get deposited into tissues and organs. The symptoms are so variable because it depends on which tissues and organs are affected. Pam was referred to a cancer and blood doctor for her subtype of the disease called light chain amyloidosis. A couple of years ago, it was amyloidosis was a pretty dismal prognosis with uh, uh, poor survival. Newer drugs have a response rate of 60 to 70 percent. Previously, we had to wait for at least six to seven months to say even they're responding. But now we can tell them within a month or two. Pam was started on chemotherapy to target the plasma cells and stop the amyloid production. And she qualified for a clinical trial. She was the only one from Pittsburgh and took part for 26 months. She thought she was improving slightly, but the study was stopped because it was showing no benefit overall. So she continued just with weekly chemotherapy for two years and is happy with the results. I went into remission. But the damage has already been done. The organs that are already affected, we cannot turn back. She gets weekly blood work, and if her protein levels start to go up again, she has another option. She banked her stem cells and will get a bone marrow transplant if she relapses, the most definitive treatment for the disease. For the most part, I'm really getting back to normal, it feels. Pam has high hopes for the future. Just to um, be around to see grandchildren someday. They're making it advancements with things, and, you know, hopefully there'll be new treatments and a cure. I'm Dr. Maria Sembra, KDKA News.